Welcome to this video from Revision World explaining the longshore drift process. Once you have watched this video, you can find more information about longshore drift and coastal erosion via a link that I've put in the description of this video. Big waves throw sand particles, pebbles and other debris up the beach. This process is known as longshore drift. Longshore drift is a process that depends on waves hitting a beach at an angle, usually caused by the direction of the wind. I'm now going to show you how the longshore drift process works by looking at this diagram. Let's focus on sand particles. The sand particles are washed up on the beach at an angle by the wave swash. As the water runs back, gravity causes the wave backwash to pull the sand particles straight back into the sea. The next wave comes along and pulls the sand particles onwards along the beach. And the longshore drift process continues, moving the sand even further along the beach. Even in small waves, you can usually see sand particles, pebbles, shells and other debris moving in the water, meaning that over time beaches can change their shape or even disappear completely. To save beaches from erosion, groins are built. These partitions are usually made from wood or stone and trap the particles on the beach to stop them being swept away by the sea. Groins don't stop the movement of particles completely as sand and pebbles will be swept around the groins and this continues the process of longshore drift. Take a look at some of our other videos including advice on how to revise effectively and have a look at our other geography videos. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you like what you have seen give us a big thumbs up. More information can be found on this subject on Revision World and I've put a link in the description. Thanks for watching and goodbye.